Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a full review on the Louis Vuitton Favorite PM bag and this is going to be what fits inside as well. So I feel like these videos are very helpful if you're trying to decide whether you want to invest in this type of bag or if you're new to buying Louis Vuitton, um, what to get as one of your first bags. So I will get into all of that in a little bit. So first off, again, as I said, this is the Louis Vuitton Favorite PM bag. It has this little uh, gold chain in front like this because it could be held like a little shoulder bag or I kind of just use it more as a decoration for the bag. And then it also has the long crossbody strap. It's pretty long and um, it has one hook on the side and then a little loop uh, on the other side. The only thing I don't like about this bag is the loop on the one side. I wish they would have just done a second chain so you could just keep clip it, clipping them off if you do want to take that off. Especially even when I store, I would have rather it that way. Because uh, I know I've had, I used to have the uh, Eva clutch. And that's what I really liked about that because it had just the clip size and I took it off really quickly. And this takes quite a bit of time to undo and redo. So it's just something to think about. Um, this had a magnetic flap closure like that, so it just immediately flaps back. There's no zipper anywhere in this bag. And again, the print kind of wraps all the way around as one piece throughout, so it goes upside down in the back and then is right side up in the front. So we guess, and then it has on the side a little pleated thing right here, a little detail of leather. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the bag. And um, as far as how much I use this, I do get a lot of use out of it. Um, it's, it's not gonna be like your everyday bag. You can't obviously fit everything you need in this bag. And you could fit though quite a bit more than you would think, which I'm surprised about. I'm surprised at how much you could actually fit. But um, I definitely use it for, you know, going out to the city or whatever like that, any kind of vacation. I do like to carry this because I wanna be hands-free. So um, I like the crossbody function. I rarely use it with the chain like this. If I was going to like a dinner or something and it went with my outfit, I probably would use it. But most of the time I would just carry like my Chloe Drew bag if I wanted something more for nighttime use. So this is more like my every, not everyday bag because I don't use it every day, but you know, like that daytime bag that you want to use if you want to be more hands-free and a little bit lighter. But on questions whether this should be someone's first bag if they're buying a like a Louis Vuitton for the first time and they're not sure what to get. Um, it depends really. Um, you're not gonna get, if you if you like to carry a lot of stuff with you, it's probably not ideal for your first bag. You wanna get something that you'd use every single day from Louis Vuitton. So I would say get like the Neverfull bag or um, a Speedy, but I would definitely recommend the Neverfull MM as a first time Louis Vuitton bag. Um, if you're looking for um, but something a little bit smaller price point though, I definitely think this is a, the way to go as well, especially if you do like cross body bags and you don't need to carry a lot. Um, I definitely think this is also amazing, but overall I'd say probably like more of a second choice um, as far as what bag to get. So yes, I love this bag so, so much. It's so uh, easy to use because of the magnetic flap as a little gold detailing on the front that says Louis Vuitton Paris. So I figure I'm going to show you uh, what come or what I could fit inside. Um, so I'm going to do that right now. Everything I'm about to put in here isn't going to be the same for everyone. Everybody has different needs that they need to put in their bag. So I'm just giving you a general idea of anything that you could possibly put in your bag and you pretty much these are all common items that you would know the size of. So I figured you could just tell by that. So um, you'll be surprised actually about how much this will fit. So the first thing I'm gonna put in is where I keep my cash and this is a little Kate Spade pouch. So this is gonna go in first. And also there's like a little strategy of how you need to pack it to get the most out of how much you could fit. Also, I just wanna quickly show you, here's that little pocket I was talking about earlier. It's a little thin pocket. You could probably fit little cards or anything like, something small in there. That will go in, I'll put this all the way over here. And now we're gonna take my little Louis Vuitton key pouch. Um, this is, as you can see for size comparison, this is way smaller than my key pouch, so that's their sizes for those. So I'm gonna put this in as well. This has all my cards, gift cards, license, everything like that. 
in there. Then next I'm gonna put these Altoid mints in. This is a pretty big container. I probably wouldn't take this in here, but um, I'd probably take like smaller mints or some kind of smaller pack of gum. But, and that's just to show you because that takes up quite a bit of space. Um, and then I have my cell phone. This is the uh, iPhone 6S. So I'm gonna put that in alongside with my, um, these are all like these thinner items here. So as you can see how that fits really nicely. Still quite a bit of room in here. Now next I actually have three lipsticks. I know that's crazy, but I just wanna show you how much you could actually fit. So um, there's three lipsticks that are gonna go in. I'm gonna put these in front of the mints. And then I also have a lip liner. Put that in there all the way at the bottom and you can still see like everything um, you could pretty much just pull right out you're not going to be digging around the way I pack this is actually pretty handy so everything's just slipping out you don't have anything like you're not going to be digging around for anything it's just right where you need it you could just pull it right out it's pretty organized like that um, I don't have my keys here. You could definitely fit keys or sunglasses. I don't think you're going to get both depending on how bulky your keys are. I just have my little uh, charging cord for my iPhone. Sometimes if I need to charge my phone, I like do like to have this with me. So that fits right there. And as you can see, there is room on the top for, um, I mean, you're not going to be able to get a sunglasses case in here. So you're going to definitely have to just put sunnies in by themselves. And I probably wouldn't do that because if they're expensive, then I wouldn't want to get them all scratched up. But um, I would definitely put my keys on the top here. And I have pretty, like not super bulky keys, but they are pretty big enough to where this is all that would fit for me in there. So here's a good look at what fits inside here. As you can see, if I needed my credit card, I just pulled this out and then it slides right back in where it belongs. If I needed my phone, pretty much slides right out like that. Um, and then I just put it right back in. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do because I'm looking through a viewfinder, but um, lipstick, again, you don't need three lipsticks. You don't even need this big of a mint case. But as I said, um, it's definitely something you could just see how much really does fit in here. I'm actually surprised it's everything I would need um, for the day or a night out. So that's inside. So there you have a full review of the Louis Vuitton favorite PM size. There is an MM size. I don't think that there's a GM. I believe there's only the PM and MM size, but I really think the PM for our crossbody is the perfect size. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope this helped you out. And if you have any more questions about this bag or of any bags you've seen on my channel, please let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to help you out with that. Um, and yeah, so I have my fashion blog link below as well as all my social media links, um, my Instagram, Snapchat, everything like that is linked below as well as my outfit details. So if you want to check out any of these items I'm wearing, you could just check out the links below. I figured it's a little bit easier for you. So I hope all of you are having a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys in my next video very soon. Bye.